Raider Nation, what's going on? You're watching the Raiders Report, brought to you by BetDSI, and I'm your host, Mitchell Renz. Follow me on Twitter for the latest Raiders news and rumors. Reggie McKenzie has been fired. This one's for Chucky Heads. Believe it, baby. The Oakland Raiders have fired general manager Reggie McKenzie effective immediately, sources confirmed by NFL Network. McKenzie, 55 years old, has been the Raiders' GM since 2012. He was signed through the 2021 NFL Draft as part of a four-year extension he signed in 2016. Unfortunately, uh, he's not going to be able to go through with that. The Raiders are 3-10 and and have traded former first-round picks Khalil Mack and Amari Cooper this season for future first-round draft picks as they are in full rebuild mode under head coach John Gruden. The Raiders were 39-70 and with McKenzie as the GM, which was actually 29th best in the NFL in terms of winning percentage during that time. With Reggie McKenzie out the door, Raider Nation, I want to know from you, grade his tenure with the Raiders. An A, a B, C, D, F. If you want to know what I think, DM me on Twitter at MitchellRenz365. Raider Nation, what's going on? You're watching the Raiders Report. I'm your host, Mitchell Renz. If you want to get on the show, this is what you got to do. See that link down there? Subscribe, youtube.com slash Raiders Report, where I put out a whole bunch of new content and also my Raider Nation rumors that are pretty popular, if I do say so myself. If you're new to the show, here's my uh, Raider Rumor Explainer. Zero Chucky Heads, tuck rule, tuck that. Rumor, not going to happen. One Chucky Head is a small shred of truth. I like to think 25% chance of happening. Two Chucky Heads, people are talking 50-50. Three Chucky Heads, this rumor is pretty likely 75% chance of happening. And then four Chucky Heads, as we just saw, believe it, baby. 100% this rumor gonna happen. Next rumor here on the board, Gary on Conley. Is this dude legit? I'm giving this one three Chucky Heads, and I think it's pretty likely. I really wanted to give it four. Can we give Gary on Conley at least a little bit more credit? My dude on Instagram, on YouTube, Abram, he's always saying it. And then local loyal watcher, Michael Merchant, this is exactly what he's saying. I've been saying this all year, and we're going to continue to hype up Conley. He thinks personally he was the MVP this past week against the Pittsburgh Steelers, and he's been amazing. Top five in passer rating allowed to quarterbacks the last six weeks. Gary O'Conley's really stepped up six since week six against the Seahawks when he was benched. Now let's look at this. He had a great matchup this week against Antonio Brown, and and my feet, five keys to the game for the Raiders, one of them was locking down the stars. And I said, you can't stop Antonio Brown. You can only control him. And his season averages before the Raiders game, he's seeing about 11 targets, almost seven catches, 85 yards, and averaging a touchdown a game. Well, then he went up against Gary on Conley, and Conley shut him down. He saw seven targets, five catches, 35 yards, and that's Gary on Conley's second straight pretty solid game. Now, he played well, I think, against Tyreek Hill, and then he comes up big against Antonio Brown. All I'm saying is, let's start giving Gary on Conley a little bit more respect. He's starting to look pretty good. Let's not forget when the Raiders drafted him in 2017, and he's been kind of a bust since then. But maybe since he's coming around a little bit, I want to know this question from you. Was Gary on Conley worth a 2017 first round pick? I want you to type Y for yes or type N for no. He's been playing a lot better, but I think it's at least a question we need to be answering. We give a shout out to our sponsor today, BetDSI. They hooked us up here at Chat Sports with the best promo code on the internet. It's a 120% deposit bonus, and you got to go to chatsports.com slash bet in order to get it. Put down 50 bucks, get 60 for free. Put down $100, get 120 for free. Put down $500, get 600 for free. Shout out to BetDSI for hooking us up with the best promo code on the internet. Next rumor coming up here on the board is Derek Carr, the Week 14 MVP. And after the game against the Pittsburgh Steelers, I think you could definitely say it. And I'm going to give this one two Chucky heads. People are talking. And who's talking? It's you, Raider Nation, on our Raiders YouTube report. And I put out a little poll, and I wanted to see what you guys thought about the entire game. I mean, the Raiders were 9.5-point underdogs to the Steelers, and they came out and they won a great game. And Derek Carr just showed great poise on, from start to finish. Heck, he threw for 322 yards, two touchdowns, and zero interceptions. And this guy actually hasn't thrown an interception since week four, and he's been absolutely great. But also some other names that you guys mentioned about some potential MVP candidates. This one's, uh, we have Jared Cook, I think is a definite name you could throw in there. Eight targets, seven receptions, 116 yards. Continues to be Derek Carr's go-to man. And then uh, my man, Raider Bay Nation, who subscribes, thanks for watching, put in said, Tareer Whitehead deserves some credit. And 
I think Whitehead played well too. He came up with that really clutch tackle there on fourth down, but 10 tackles, continues to lead the Raiders in tackles this season. Two pass breakups, a super clutch INT. But they got a lot of different players going on. So then, Raider Nation, I want to ask you, okay? Great game for the Raiders, great win. Who was the Raiders Week 14 MVP? And as I look down here in my notes, Pete Gonzalez says Lee Smith. Raider Bay Nation said three or Whitehead. Herman Munster, great name, says PJ Hall. And then Brian Norcal, 1985, laughing face, Chris Boswell. But I want to know from you, comment below, Raiders Week 14 MVP. We just talked about Derek Carr, and now I think this is a good point to bring this up. Is Derek Carr the franchise quarterback? I think we all thought he was in 2016. I'm giving this one two Chucky heads, and people are talking. There's still the group of people who I think are like, no, he's not back to 2016 form. And yes, he is back to 2016 form. And yes, he is the franchise quarterback that we are all hoping for. But let me hit you with this, okay? Last seven weeks, 105.8 passer rating. Just so you guys can understand how great that is, Aaron Rodgers, the NFL career best passer rating is held by Aaron Rodgers, and it's 103. So the last seven weeks, Derek Carr's passer rating is technically the best passer rating in NFL history and since week four 68 percent completion percentage the 2061 yards it's the one interception that I absolutely love to see there because Derek has been really really special and then the 12 touchdowns so is Derek Carr back to 2016 form because when he was in 2016 he was an MVP candidate when you look at since week four Derek Carr 68 percent completion percentage compared to Derek Carr in 2016 it's better Yes, the yards per game are better and the touchdowns per game are better for Carr, but the interceptions per game are actually down since week four, and his quarterback rating is much better. So when I'm looking at that, hey, that's pretty interesting, and the team that Derek Carr had in 2016, much better than the team he's got around him right now. So with that being said, is Derek Carr the Raiders franchise quarterback? I want you to give me a heart for yes or a like for no. If you're on YouTube, just comment below yes or no. Heck, I actually appreciate sometimes when you guys take the extra mile and put an actual heart or find that like. So I would appreciate that. But main question, is Derek Carr the Raiders franchise quarterback? Next rumor coming up here. Do the Raiders have the number three pick in the NFL draft right now? This one's for Chucky Heads, believe it, baby. And they could have had the first overall pick if they wouldn't have went ahead and won because the 49ers also won this past week. But the 49ers still hold that number one pick. The Cardinals sit there at number two. And I think when you look at the Raiders, 49ers, and Cardinals, they're all sitting there at three and ten. And that's ultimately who I believe is going to have the number one overall pick in the 2019 NFL Draft. And thank you, Elena, for bringing up uh, the draft order. The 49ers, 3-10. The Cardinals, 3-10. Raiders, 3-10. The Falcons, that's a shocker to me, sitting there with the number four pick, sitting there at 4-9. The Jets also won beating the Bills, so they have the fifth overall pick, the Jets 4-9. But the pick that I think is really important is that number one overall pick. So let's look at the Raiders' last three games for this season. They play the Bengals, they play the Broncos, and then they play the Chiefs. I'll say this. Two weeks ago, I was saying they're all losing, but they played the Chiefs really tough, and they just outright beat the Steelers, too probably playoff caliber teams in my opinion definitely the Chiefs that's for sure but I'm really hoping they at least beat the Broncos okay because as I know you guys do too all right now let's look ahead to the 49ers last three games and sorry for the 49ers colors I can already hear you guys yelling at me for that the week 15 versus Seahawks that's a tough game 16 against the Bears they just beat the Rams and then the Rams in week 17 who may not have anything to play for but the 49ers I don't really see them winning any three of those games so now let's look ahead of the Cardinals. Maybe the Raiders can jump the Cardinals, right? Well, week 15, they play the Falcons. Falcons only have four wins. So, hey, there's a potential the Cardinals could beat the Falcons. And then the Rams, that's going to be a tough game. And then the Seahawks, another tough game for the Cardinals. So I want to know from you, will the Raiders have the number one pick in the 2019 NFL Draft? I want you to type one for yes or type two for no. And if you want to know what I think, DM me on Twitter at MitchellRens365. The Raiders looked really good yesterday, and I think I look pretty good right now thanks to Miz and Amain. And heck, Miz and Amain decks all the dudes out here because they hook us up with these awesome performance shirts. And if you guys want one of your own Miz and Amain shirts, go to www.comfortable.af because these shirts are indeed comfortable as F. My last rumor I got coming up for you here, it's drafting Kyler Murray. And yes, you read that right. And I just want to say thank you, Fanside. Thank you, Fanside, for making my job here so much easier and so much more entertaining because you put out things like this, that the Raiders are going to draft Kyler Murray. This one's zero Chucky heads. Tuck rule. Tuck that. 
On Saturday night, Kyler Murray became the 81st winner of the Heisman Trophy after a sensational season as quarterback of the Oklahoma Sooners. Now, the young gunslinger is faced with a decision every athlete, I think, would dream of. Do I play in the NFL or do I go to the MLB? I feel like the Raiders used to have a player who played in the NFL and played in the MLB. Do you remember his name? It was Bo Jackson. Now, I absolutely love this graphic up here on the board. Bo Jackson went to Auburn. Kyler Murray went to Oklahoma. Yes, they both took that picture. That is not Photoshop, so it's perfect to me. Did both win player of the year? Yes. Did both win the Heisman? Yes. Bo Jackson drafted first overall in the MLB draft. Now, Kyler wasn't as good. He only got drafted ninth. Poor guy. And the NFL draft, Bo Jackson won. Kyler Murray, is he going to get drafted in the NFL draft? According to the fan side, uh, he's going to get drafted by the Oakland Raiders. So now like, let's just think about how great Kyler Murray's season was because it was absolutely sensational, especially over the last four games. But 70% completion percentage there, 4,000 yards, 40 touchdowns, seven interceptions. Like, this dude was just absolutely chucking the ball all over the field. Yeah, maybe the Big 12 defense has helped a little bit, but Kyler still deserves a lot of credit. And then not only can he pass, he can also run. 123 carries, 892 yards, 11 freaking rushing touchdowns, and 7.3 average. Like, I don't know if he's as fast as Michael Vick, but watching him run around the field, it's like a Madden cheat code. Heck, if he goes to the NFL, I can already hear it. You're not allowed to use the team Kyler Murray's on. But he already got drafted by the Oakland Athletics, and the rumor originally started as, oh, he's going to already be in Oakland. He's going to be with the A's. He can easily play with the Raiders. So what I did, Oakland A's minor league affiliates. You got Class A is the Vermont Lake Monsters. Great name there. And then Class A short season is the Snappers. And you got the Stockton Ports, which is single A, double A, the Midland Rockhounds, and here's my favorite. You ready? Triple A, the Las Vegas Aviators. Breaking news, the Raiders are going to Vegas, so it's a perfect fit for Kyler Murray to be able to play with the Oakland A's and be able to then go, if he's not can't get to the A's right away, he can play in Las Vegas with the Raiders. It's a perfect fit. So I want to ask you, Raider Nation, would you want the Raiders to draft Kyler Murray? We've talked about Justin Herbert as a potential draft prospect, but nah. We're going to go with Kyler Murray, the 2018 Heisman winner. I want you to give me a wow face for yes, a laughing face for no, and if you want to know what I think about this, DM me on Twitter at MitchellRens365.